Now, if longitudinal diffusion was all there was to it, it would make sense to run the pump with a high flow rate and mobile phase velocity, and this would minimise band broadening. Well, it's not that simple. There is another effect which works to produce an opposite outcome. This is mass transfer. As the molecules are pushed down the column with the mobile phase, some of them will diffuse into the particles, interact with the stationary phase, before diffusing back out again. There is a lag time for this to happen, which will depend on the size of the particle and the degree of interaction with the stationary phase, that is, retention. As you can see in this animation, as the mobile phase velocity is increased, the molecules which are outside the particle have moved ahead of the molecules which are still interacting with the particle. If the velocity is too high, then band broadening occurs. Therefore, by slowing the mobile phase velocity, we give the molecules inside the particle more time to stay with the molecules which haven't entered a particle.